Keeper Sierra here, back with another bump date for Monica, our Indian Rhino. Um, since our last bump date, Monica has gotten some more milk in and had some other physical changes that indicate that we're getting closer, so we're all super excited. She's doing really well. She's in the stall next to me over there. Um, I thought today would be a great opportunity to talk to you guys about what we had to do to prepare for the Rhino baby. So despite them being over 100 pounds, they're actually still small enough where they can fit through these bollards here. So our hookstock team and our maintenance team came together and found a way to baby proof. And of course, in Monica fashion, she ruined our plan A and our plan B. So this is our plan C, and it's holding up really well so far. So this will help keep the baby in and not going into the hallway and meeting all the primates and stuff down the hall. And then you can see behind me, we have some prairie hay. So that'll be bedding. It'll keep the barn warmer for the calf. It'll help with traction when the calf tries to stand up. And luckily, rhinos typically give birth laying down, so it won't have a big fall. But that's just some cushion in case it does. So we'll bed the rest of this stall down. We're kind of just in that process now. So we're getting there, making our way ready for the calf to get here. Um, on behalf of myself, Monica, and the entire Tanganyika family, I wanted to say thank you guys to all of you that have purchased something off of Monica's registry or if you've bid on a ticket to the baby shower, we look forward to seeing you.